Hello and welcome to the Dinosaur News Center. We bring you the latest in discoveries, research, and other news relating to the world of dinosaurs. I'm your host, the Illiterate Scholar. Today we'll be looking at the many faces of Triceratops, mutant raptors, and new extinction theories. So we have a lot to cover. Let's get started then. The latest research from John Scanella and Jack Horner reveals that the horns and frills on a Triceratops goes through drastic changes as it grows. What we know as Torosaurus is in fact the fully mature form of Triceratops. Since the name Triceratops came first, we're sticking with that and getting rid of Torosaurus. <laughs> but get this! Websites like Gizmodo and CBS are reporting Triceratops is getting the boot and not Torosaurus. There are even Facebook pages asking people to save the name Triceratops. Come on, this is basic reading comprehension here, people. But I guess mere mortals can't hope to match the reading skills of the illiterate scholar. Now I'm sure you all know what a dromaeosaurus is. You know, little guy, sickle claw's foot. Well, Alan in Romania, they discovered a new dromaeosaur with two sickle claws. No, not one on each foot but two on each foot. Meet Balor Bondok of Lake Cretaceous, Romania. Its name means beefy dragon because it's a little stockier than Velociraptor, but honestly, I'm not really seeing much of a difference. As you can see from this picture, this animal has two sickle claws on its foot, not one like other dromaeosaurs. Okay, so there's no evidence suggesting that it's a mutant of any kind, but hey, it makes a great headline. The current widely accepted theory on dinosaur extinction is that a giant meteor, or asteroid, crashed into the Earth 65 million years ago in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Now a second crater has been found in Ukraine, leading scientists to believe that it was a double whammy that killed the dinosaurs. It's calculated that the two objects hit the Earth several thousand years apart. We don't know which one hit first, but who knows, if it hadn't been for the double whammy, maybe dinosaurs wouldn't have gone extinct. So we may have lost Torosaurus, but big deal, we have three new Ceratopsins to replace it. Two of them are from Utah, one named Utah Ceratops and the other Cosmoceratops, and lastly, I swear I didn't make this up, Mojo Ceratops. Utah Ceratops has a 7 foot skull and looks like a rhino. Cosmoceratops is a little smaller, but it has 15 horns on its head. Mojo Ceratops was named after its flamboyant looking frill. And there was some beer involved, of course. Remember kids, don't do science when you're drunk. New research into the structure of a T-Rex's tail shows that it's not just for counterbalancing, but also built for speed. Unlike modern reptiles, the ribs on the tail are located much higher. This gives the caudal femoralis muscle much more room to bulk up and expand. No new estimates were given, but a research from a couple of years ago puts T-Rex at around the speed of an Olympic athlete, so now we know it's probably much faster than that. Hmm, now let's see what dinosaur I should introduce you to today. Ah, here's a good one. Meet Saltosaurus loricactus from Lake Cretaceous, Argentina. Saltosaurus is small for a sauropod, but it does have unique armor that most sauropods don't have. The discovery of a large nesting ground for Saltosaurus reveals that the female dug the nest using her hind feet, and then covered the nest with leaves and dirt. Each female lays about 25 eggs, and they are some of the largest dinosaur eggs found so far. There are even embryos found inside with skin impressions on the eggshells. So now we know that the babies are born with their armor. Songwolf asks, what are your thoughts on these supposed living dinosaur sightings in modern times? It's just fantasy really. And besides, a lot of the descriptions are based on very outdated views on dinosaurs anyway. So yeah, I seriously doubt they're dinosaurs. Unknown asks, would it be a good idea to bring dinosaurs back to life and place them in a zoo? No, it's a terrible idea, and I'd love to see it happen. And that's all the time we have for this edition of the Dinosaur News Center. This is the Illiterate Scholar signing off. Thank <laughs> you.